All right, how's it going today? This week's word of the week is going to be heliarch welding. Heliarch welding is actually a, a slang term. Uh, historically, it was an accurate term a long time ago. I actually had to dig up my uh, history sheet here on tin welding to kind of remember the dates and things like that when this stuff uh, came out. Uh, it was first investigated, let me see here, uh, 1920s, um, to use helium as a shielding gas for a welding process. Um, old timers will call TIG welding or gas tungsten arc welding heliarc welding. That's why it's important for you to uh, know what heliarc welding is. Also, as you look over here, it was originally called heliarc welding. That was the name they gave it a long, long time ago. Um, Let's see here, the notion was put off until the need to replace rivets on aircraft in World War II. So they kind of uh, put off this helium uh, as a shielding gas welding process until World War II when they needed to replace rivets with um, welding. Uh, rivets are really not that strong of a mechanical fastener. Uh, it's kind of scary to think you're flying around with a bunch of rivets holding you together. I'd rather have a welder, right? So, yeah, I'm glad they came up with this process. But um, they originally used it on aluminum, magnesium, um, they used helium at the time because it was readily available, so they could get a hold of it really easily. Uh, they also started out on direct current electrode positive, which everybody's done that before when they had a stick welder on their TIG machine before they got to it. Rapid consumption of the electrode, right? So you know that um, when they developed it into direct current electrode negative, that was a big advancement. So the um, main thing to remember with Heliarc is when somebody says Heliarc, they're talking about gas tungsten arc welding or TIG. If you don't know what they're talking about, you're going to kind of look a little foolish. But uh, there is still machines that call themselves Heliarchs. I, I know I have one out there. I just don't know where it is. I think it's an older one. We're going to go out in the lab and try and find it so that you can actually see that it says Heliarch right on it. Um, this is a slang term. Understand it's a slang term. Uh, it's the same as like gas metal arc welding. People call it MIG. But MIG welding is a slang term. It's gas metal arc welding. So when they say heliarc, they're talking about gas tungsten arc welding. So you need to know what it is. And it's also a history lesson. This is what it was originally called, and uh, helium was a, the original shooting gas for uh, gas tungsten arc welding. Um, now we know helium has a higher ionization potential, so if you add helium, it burns hotter. So it still can be used if you want to do thick sections or get good penetration. So. Um, we're going to go out and try to find that welder. I think we took it out of service and got some new ones and it might be in the back room, but I'm positive we had a welder that said Heliarc, so we'll go check that out. I just dug around in this storage room here and I, I knew we had a, a machine that was called a Heliarc. Uh, Heliarc 252, it's an ESOB there. Um, these welders have a lot of miles on them. They still work. Some of them lost, um, like I know one of the Lincolns back there. It stick welds, but it doesn't TIG weld, things like that. They got a lot of miles on them, though. So um, there's an example of a Heliarc 252. It's not a, it's, it's a slang term right on a machine, just like, you know, a lot of MIG welders say MIG on them, even though it should say gas metal arc welding. The main thing to understand is, is Heliarc means TIG welding or gas tungsten arc welding. That's what you need to know from all this. So that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. And we're out.